In other news, Prime Minister Stephen Harper has answered the call of Canada's Aboriginal leaders. Amid growing Idle No More protests, he announced he will meet with a delegation of First Nations chiefs next Friday. It means the hunger strike staged by Ontario Chief Theresa Spence may end. But as Mike Drolet explains, protesters are vowing to continue their action. It's the face-to-face -face meeting they demanded. First Nation leaders and Stephen Harper next Friday in the same room. But that's not the way the Prime Minister saw it, who made every effort to show he wasn't pressured into anything. I met with the National Chief at Leo uh, in November about setting up uh, future meetings. Regardless of who forced whose hand, the meeting will happen amid growing protests among First Nations peoples, unhappy with their lack of involvement in treaty talks and the development of natural resources. So who will be represented at the meeting? There are two, perhaps three groups at play here. There's the Assembly of First Nations, led by Sean Atlio, who has to walk a fine line to support the different protest groups and maintain the good working relationship he has built with Harper. And within his group is Attawapiskat Chief Teresa Spence, who demanded the Harper meeting by going on what she calls a hunger strike, even though she's consumed more than just water, surviving on tea and fish broth. I'm still healthy, my heart is still strong. <laughs> Spence has been sporadically visible, spending short periods of time in a teepee in the shadow of Parliament Hill. She's doing it to get attention, yet few are allowed to see her. Who she represents beyond Attawapiskat isn't clear. Certainly not the grassroots Idle No More movement, which has recently taken to blocking railways and roads, which plans on disrupting border crossings this weekend. Spence and her chiefs clearly have no power to tell Idle to stand down. If Idle No More wishes to continue to do, show support by demonstrating, then, then they will have to do what they need to do. It's a dizzying mix of issues and characters. Harper will have to figure out how to appease them and hope he's talking to the right group. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.